Hey everyone, Mike here, Skinny Boy Barbecue. Today I thought I would show you around my outdoor space. I've had quite a lot of messages ask me what do I cook on and what equipment do I have? So I thought today I would show you all. So let's get started. So a year and a half ago, me and my wife bought our first house and uh, we said that, well I said, we, <laughs> you're right. So I said that if I ever bought a house, then I would really start my, my barbecues going. Um, and hopefully in the next 12, 18 months, uh, baby on the way next month, which is going to be pretty cool. So damn the babies, stop them from getting it. But um, no, so what we've actually got here is in that corner there, where the shed is, that's going to become my outdoor, oh, there you go, my outdoor barbecue kitchen area where I'm going to be putting all my little equipment, not so little, into into it and it's gonna be my my outdoor man cave slash kitchen but until that happens i'm on the patio so let's have a look so the first grill i bought was a napoleon prestige pro 665 unfortunately great gas barbecue everything was amazing about it i was so just over the moon when it came but then i bought my pro 34 traeger and i just i stopped using it um yeah, I just didn't use it. So I saw this um, online and got it. I think I got this one from Riverside Barbecue, uh, Riverside Garden Centre, sorry. So, but let me take you through a quick little tour of the Traeger. Now, you've got your pellet hopper in here. All you do is feed your pellets through the top there and there's an auger at the bottom, which takes your pellets into the middle of the chamber and then you've got your firebox, a little big corkscrew, big firebox. You've got a nice big space. I mean, this will easily get you kind of eight racks of ribs, three, four whole chickens, massive brisket, good couple of six, seven kilogram pork butts. And it's just a great piece of kit. Um, my only gripe with it, not really a gripe as such as well, but the control unit. Now, control unit is great if you want to cook to certain temperatures. So as you can see here, it's it's just like turning on an oven. So twist your dial, set your temperature, let it go. A couple of probe spaces in there as well. Probe just goes through that little hole. But the problem I have is if you want to get in between a temperature, you can't. You set at this and that is it. But at the time, it didn't bother me. I loved it. Um, Bought the accessory shelf to go with it. It was great. So the next one I bought was my Kamado Joe Classic 3. Doing a bit of a, a clean today of some of the uh, the greats. So, but yeah, the next one I bought was my Kamado Joe Classic 3. And all I could say with this is, wow. There's a video already up on my pages, uh, Skinny Boy Barbecue. On Facebook, Skinny Boy Barbecue 2020 on Instagram, and obviously Skinny Boy Barbecue UK on YouTube. I've already done a detailed walkthrough of the Classic Three: um, charcoal, ceramic, Kamado oven. <laughs> I love it, and you'll get a glimpse of why later on. Holds temperatures fantastically. Um, good size wood chunks for smoking. I think it's 18 inches in the cooking space, just giving the seasoning, like I said, giving a bit of a clean and season. Got, I've ordered a new gasket because my gaskets come off, but with the amount of times I've used this, you know, they don't last forever. So, but 80 quid, get a whole new gasket set, but it was great. So let's close that right down. And then this is Tom's fault at Traeger. Um, in truth, I had a problem with the Pro 34, uh, the control unit. It wasn't working properly. So Tom sent a guy called George out to my house. We'd already arranged it. He was going to come and replace uh, the unit, which I thought was just amazing customer service, to be fair. Um, so, yes. And then while we were on the phone, we were having a bit of a chat. And I mentioned the Timberline 1300. And a few days later, he called me back and said, how badly do you want it? How badly do I want it? Like, do, you know, kids like candy or does the, the grass like rain? It's, I wanted it. 
So he gave me an amazing deal on the Timberline 1300. Now this is an immense piece of kit. If I just put them side by side, you can see the size difference. And you can't obviously feel it, but I think the quality of this is far better than the Pro 34. Um, a lot more cooking area for a start. But what I do like, let me just turn this on. What I like more is the digital display. Even tells you when to clean, clean, clean your grill. So once you've turned it on, and this is again, trumps the Pro 34, you've got your temperature. Don't know if you can see it, but this will take you all the way up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. You can do it in Celsius as well. You know, that's not a problem but it, it'll take you all the way up, which is great. So that is my Timberline 1300. Um, and then the problem I had was, me being me, I got my Classic 3, love my Classic 3, but I was debating whether or not straight away to go for the Big Joe 3. Um, I ummed and ahed, ummed and ahed, ummed and ahed, and I did go for the classic. It was the first ceramic I'd ever bought. I thought, let's let's kind of not spend too much money. Um, I haven't gone through the, the slow roller and everything else that this offers, but about 10 months later, I bit the bullet and got my Kamado Joe, Big Joe 3. He's so pretty. At the same time as getting my baby junior. So we now have the Joe family. Papa Joe, Mama Joe, Baby Joe. And the great thing is when the baby's born next month, give it a few years, baby's barbecue, daddy's barbecue, daddy's barbecue because mummy's got no interest in it. <laughs> so, but again, the difference between this and this that's just bigger. 18 inch cooking, 24 inch diameter space. Um, both have the slow rollers. That's why I went for the Classic 3 and the Big Joe 3. And then we've got your Joe Jr. So, itty bit little Jr. But that's great. And then I just bought some accessory tables to go with it as well. So we've got this. I just bought this from a garden center. Um, I'll be honest with you, online, it looked a lot better than what it was. It's just a lot of plastic um, with an aluminium bet top. Um, but do you know what? When I first opened it, I was a little bit disappointed. And then I've kind of grown to really like it. You can lock the drawers if you want to. Um, and then I just got this one, which is a far more sturdier, wooden, nice couple of drawers, not drawers, so shelves. Um, yeah, magnetic close, and that's great. That's it. I mean, that is you've got my Joe family. I love my Kamado Joes, these it's probably my favorite to cook on. Um, and I actually probably cook on these a lot more than I do my Traegers now. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about the Traeger once you connect this one up to the Wi Fi, um, I'll be throwing a brisket on this later on, and we're gonna go out. I can control everything through the app on my phone. It's fantastic. But yeah, so we've got Traegers, Joes, and there is a space there I could get away with using something else. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the support and all the followers. You know, if you like what you see and you're liking the videos, please do like and subscribe on YouTube, Skinny Boy Barbecue UK, uh, on uh, Facebook it's Skinny Boy Barbecue and then on Instagram it's Skinny Boy Barbecue 2020. I'm going to change my profile picture on it just to kind of incorporate all my all my little friends here in the garden um, and there will be two more I think I need to get. Um, I do think no gardens ever no garden barbecue sets ever complete unless you've got a, um, a Weber so we'll be looking into the Webers probably just a kettle um, but then Masterbuilt are bringing out a Gravity Series 1050. Um, 
which is just your charcoal basket is basically on the side of the barbecue. Um, you load it in through the top, it all gravity fed, light at the bottom, fan, burns it on, it's great. But again, guys, thank you very much for your support. Thanks for tuning in. Leave a comment if you like and see you soon.